Hey YouTube, my name's Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar and today I'm going to be doing part 5.1 in this series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. First off, I'd like to apologize for the uh, lateness of this video. And something went wrong with my screen recorder and I had to pretty much redo everything. So, uh, it's fixed now and everything's working so we can get started again. And we left off right here. Um, so within these brackets, what we're going to do... Whoop, is we're gonna throw a new system that exception and it's gonna say see expected equal after variable name okay we're going to do another this dot index plus plus we declare var dot expression equals this dot parse expression again the parse expression uh, is not been declared yet so it will be an error and result that equal equals declare var okay so after that we're going to do an else if this dot tokens square bracket this dot index that equals it's going to be parse object within this we're going to do this dot index plus plus We're going to do a redent. Uh, equals new redent. We're going to do an if statement. If this dot index is less than this dot tokens that count. And this that tokens square bracket this that index is string when you read int that ident equals string this dot tokens square bracket this that index plus plus and the result equals read int after that we're going to do an else statement I'm going to throw a new system dot exception It's going to be expected bear variable name. After parse OBJ. After that, we're going to do an else if. Else if this dot tokens this dot index square bracket this dot index that equals this is where the f we're going to do the for loop 
do another this.index plus plus. Declare a for loop. If statement if this dot index equals this dot tokens dot count or this dot tokens square bracket this dot index is not equal to scanner. So we're not gonna do that. There is a way that you can put um, parentheses in here. You go to the AST, sorry not the AST, the scanner. You can add more of these public static objects, add, subtract, multiply, divide, equals. You can add uh, stuff for parentheses. Then go down here to case and type in a parentheses right here. Rename it as parentheses. I'll show you an example right now. We're going to declare a public static read only object. We're going to name this print. Okay. So after that, we're going to go under here and we're going to add a new case. This time it will be a parenthesis. The colon input dot read. This dot results dot add scanner dot print we we'll do a break and that's all you need to do to add parentheses and you can add a, a bunch of different stuff parentheses um, brackets curly brackets square brackets all that stuff and uh, you can go into the parser and uh, do all that stuff with it um, but for now we're not going to add any parentheses into the syntax of the language um, So we're going to do is we're going to do if this dot index is less than this dot tokens that counts and this dot tokens square brackets this dot index is string for loop dot ident equals string this dot tokens square bracket this dot index and then after that we're going to do an else statement throw we're going to throw a new system dot exception Going to be an expected variable name. After four. Then we're going to do this dot index plus plus. After that, we're going to do another if statement. If this dot index equals this dot tokens dot count, or this dot tokens square bracket this dot index is not equal to scanner dot equals. We're going to do, we're going to throw a new system that exception. This is going to be four missing and equals. 